of inflation. I am happy to note that the fund has consistently delivered on this commitment. In accordance with Section 35, Part 2 of the NSSF Act, as amended, I hereby <laughs> Hey, I want to first see. <laughs> <laughs> okay, in accordance with the section 35, part 2 of the NSF Act, as amended, I hereby declare the interest rate of 10%. As provided for the NSSF Act, I'm about to finish. As amended, this new rate will be calculated and credited to the balance outstanding on the member's account as of 1st July 2022. This new rate equals to shillings 1.591 trillion Uganda shillings in total. Last financial year, the 10-year average rate of inflation was 4.2%. The rate I have just declared is 5.8% above the 10-year average, which means that the fund has once again delivered on its promise and surpassed it by almost 3.8%. To the members, Thank you for trusting the NSSF with your money. It is safe. No fooling, it is safe. Your money is very safe. The fund is an institution we are all proud of and we shall not let you down. With these uh, remarks and my doing my duty, I would like to thank you all of you, and may God help you in whatever you're doing. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, another big round of applause for the Honorable Minister of Finance for the big announcement, our 10% interest rate, Honorable Minister. We want to thank you. As I move the podium away, uh, which the team is handling, uh, Honorable Minister, just one or two asks you will have a photo moment uh, with the Minister for Gender and the Board of NSSF, and they will do two things. One, we'll have the photo with our interest rate, the most important thing today, right? And then the next photo is with uh, our brand new report, the ESG Sustainability Report, which was launched today by the Board, and we will want a photo moment with you and the Board and that report on the screen. So, um, Evelyn and the team, if we could remove the podium first. Evie, can we remove the podium now? Because I only have uh, one minute the minister has granted me, all right? Honorable minister, we want to thank you for your time. Uh, there was optimism on social media. Um, there was some worry also, uh, given what we've seen in the region. And I think the MD also did not help the situation by talking about Kenya too much in his uh, presentation. He kept reminding us and keep, kept sharing what was happening in Kenya, where some of our money is. And so people then started getting jittery. And, and you can tell.